My name is Desiree Meyer and I'm the current director of the Mona Collaboration. We're a collaboration of mostly undergraduate colleges and we build the detectors that you see behind me. When we run experiments at the NSCL, we investigate neutron unbound states. If you take a nucleus and add more neutrons to it, uh, you'll reach a point where you can't add anymore. The next neutron uh, will not bind to the nucleus. We use nuclear reactions to create these systems that have one or even two neutrons too many. Uh, even though they're not bound, uh, there's still a resonance that we can detect. Uh, for, the, for the resonance, we see an enhanced number of events at or around a specific energy for the neutron. To detect the neutrons, we use Mona Lisa, which you see kind of here. Um, unlike protons or electrons, neutrons have no charge, so they don't interact very strongly in the matter, and they're very difficult to detect. That's the reason why Mona Lisa is so thick. It's about three feet thick. Um, the detectors are made of, of a clear plastic scintillator and the neutrons interact in the plastic and create a faint light pulse. Uh, the light will travel to each end of the detector and a photo photomultiplier tube at the, each end of the detector will detect the light and create an electric signal. Because the photomultipliers are very sensitive to light, the detectors are wrapped in black plastic to be absolutely light tight. We can determine the timing of the signal to such a precision that we can measure the difference in time it takes the light to travel to each end of the detector. From this, we can calculate where in the detector the neutron hit. To my left is the modular neutron array, or MONA, and to my right is the large multi-institutional simulator array, or LISA, and together they uh, make up MONA LISA, a neutron detector array of 288 different detector modules. Uh, each detector module has two photomultiplier tubes, one at each end, and each photomultiplier tube has three cables coming out of it, two signal cables and one high voltage cable. So if you were to take all of the cables from Mona Lisa and line them up end to end, it would stretch for 12 miles.